Hello. This is a beginner's tutorial on the Lego software, Lego Digital Designer. And this is a free computer program produced through the Lego Group. It's available on both Mac and Windows and allows users to build models using virtual Lego bricks. There are, there are several different modes to choose from um, once you get started, including a mode that gives users step-by-step -step instructions on how to build different Lego models. Um, today what we're going to do is focus on some of the beginner functions of the program and just utilize the free build mode. In order to get started, all you need to do is just Google Lego Digital Designer. Um, the number one hit will be this website and you can just click on it. And once you do that, um, you need to download the program and you just come over here and you can click download and it will get you started. I've already gone ahead and downloaded the program onto my computer. So I just have to go here and click on it. Um, so in, once you're, you have it downloaded to your computer, a way you can get started um, with a free build is just come over here and there is this button for free build. Click on it. And now we have a completely blank slate to begin our building. Um, in order for you to build, you have this sidebar of all different types of pieces that you can choose from. Um, for us to get started, I'm going to choose a base plate, which will act as the bottom or the foundation of whatever structure I decide to make. So this, these are the base plates, these flat ones. So I'll click on that and watch what happens when I click on it. Get a lot of different options to choose from. There are, under each category, there are so many different Lego pieces to choose from. Um, as you can see, there are all these different pieces and as I scroll down, um, notice the little bar explaining about each piece. Um, this one says plate one by two with one knob, um, flat one by four. So they're all, and, and, and those numbers are showing you how many different, or how many, um, you know, sections each piece will take up. So a two by two is a little bit bigger than a one by two, one by three. We have corner plate, two by two plate. Um, I'm going to try and find a plate that is large that will act as the foundation for my structure. So let's see. I believe that we have some larger plates as we scroll down. We have six by six, four by ten. I'm going to pick an 8x8 eight eight base plate. And then there's all these different colors to choose from. How about we go with uh, baby blue? Can't go wrong with baby blue, right? So I'll pick that. And all you need to do in order to place your piece is just click wherever you want it. So say I want it like smack dab in the middle over here. Click it, and it gets set right in place. Um, now that we have our base plate, we can go scroll back all the way up to the top, press this minimize button, and now we have all these different pieces to choose from. So I'm just going to pick a generic style Lego brick, like the Lego bricks that um, most people think of when you think of Lego. So now there are all these different kinds of bricks I can use to build. Um, I'm going to find just a normal old Lego brick. So these look pretty familiar. So I'm going to choose this brown piece. Now I have this brown piece here. And like I told you before, you can just click and put it wherever you want. So if I want to put it in this corner right here, click and it's there. So say I'm really into this brown piece and, uh, you know, it's looking good to me and I want more of them. There's two different ways you can get more. Um, you could add more of the same brick. So you can go up to this function over here, which is the cloner. Click on it. And then you click on your piece. And now you have a new 
brown brick, same size, same shape, and you can do whatever you please. So if you want to stack it to the side, put it on the side, put it right there. Um, if I want another one, um, I can click, and there we go. I have another piece. Um, there's another way to clone um, bricks. You can, instead of coming up and hitting this function, you could just simply hover over a piece and hit C. And then that'll clone it as well. So as you can see, I've now cloned three new bricks off of that one piece. Um, another function um, is the paint tool. So you, if you say I didn't like brown or say I only wanted one of those bricks to be brown, what I could do is click on the paint tool and come over and I can select one of the bricks. And let's see, hmm, maybe I'm more into lime green and I wanted to create a pattern, I could make that just by using the paint function. All right, so I have my little structure going now. It's starting to look pretty good. And so I wanted to take a look at and see how my progress is going. There's two different ways that I can view my progress. So what I can do is I can use these arrow keys and watch what happens when I press this. So now I have a totally different view of the structure that I've created. And if I wanted to get a side shot, I can click on that arrow and look now, wow, looking pretty good. Um, in case you didn't want to use those, um, these side arrows, what you can do is simply just right click and then move your mouse around and you're able to look at all the different sides and angles of your structure. I personally find the right click to be a little bit easier, but um, both functions are available depending on what you prefer. Um, okay, so I've got something pretty good going here. And if I want to add another brick, I could just scroll through. Oh, here's a nice two by four. And if I want to click on, I just want to use this pink one, click on it. And now I have, now this is available to use. Um, if you notice, there are these arrow keys um, right on the bottom. Those um, if you just press the arrow keys on your keyboard, you can kind of flip your Lego piece and you can put it however you might want. Um, if you notice, it looks like this brick is a little bit faded. That means that you cannot place it like that. You can only place it when the brick is now it's come back into the bolder color. You can only place your brick when it is showing that bolded color. So. And go ahead and put it right there. Um, so this program is quite extensive. Um, there are so many different Lego bricks to choose from. As you can see, this is just one particular um, section of, of brick style. So these all these choices have a ton of different options. Um, you can even create cars using these these tires. Uh, you can create gear-based um, moving structures, which are pretty cool. Um, there's also a host of different little guys that you could create, which is a fun function for kids as well. And there's even a pets function over here if you wanted to uh, make a doghouse or something like that. Um, this program... It's really great. It's got so many different options for the users. Um, I've been watching some tutorials online, and there are a ton of different things to create and build. And it's a great way to help kids extend their imagination and really um, help them to, you know, tinker and explore. And I really think that it's something that uh, can, when utilized right, be a great addition to any classroom.